Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The picture shown is the initial screen that appears when you create a new blank presentation in PowerPoint 2019 or 365. This presentation view is called Normal View, and it is the default view of a new presentation in PowerPoint. However, it is only one of many possible presentation views. This is the view in which you spend most of your time when creating a presentation. A presentation is the default type of file in PowerPoint. You create and edit individual slides within a presentation file in PowerPoint. The presentation slides contain many text and graphic objects, which show the presentation's contents. When you close a presentation, PowerPoint prompts you to save unsaved changes in the presentation if needed. The following lessons of this chapter examine the elements of the PowerPoint environment. New PowerPoint users should first familiarize themselves with the many tools and elements of the program's environment before creating a presentation. The presentation slides appear in the center pane of the normal presentation view in the application window. The application window consists of the title bar, the ribbon, the status bar, and the presentation slides. The most important tool is the ribbon at the top of the application window. The ribbon is where you can find the tabs, button groups, buttons, and commands in PowerPoint. The file tab lets you access the backstage view. In the backstage view, you find common file management commands like creating a new presentation, saving a presentation, PowerPoint's default options, as well as printing options. Above the ribbon is the title bar, which shows the title of the current presentation file towards its center. At the left end of the title bar is the Quick Access Toolbar. You can easily add buttons to this toolbar for the commands you use most frequently and always want available. The Auto Save, if saving files to OneDrive or SharePoint, Save, Undo, Redo, and Customize Quick Access Toolbar buttons appear here by default. However, note that the Auto Save button is for Microsoft 365 subscribers only. You can also easily remove buttons you add to this toolbar, as we will discuss in a later lesson. The current presentation slide appears below the ribbon in the center slide pane. This is where you create the content of the presentation slides. Most of the work in PowerPoint is accomplished in this area. As you create the presentation slides, Slide thumbnails appear in the Slide Thumbnails pane at the left side of the normal view. This pane will show a vertical scroll bar after you add multiple slides that you can use to scroll through the thumbnails if needed. You can click a thumbnail in the pane to display its content in the Slide pane to the right. You can click the Notes button towards the right end of the status bar next to the Presentation View buttons to show or hide the Notes pane. Although no longer appearing by default, the Notes pane below the current slide lets you click into it to type presenter notes for the slide if needed. For Microsoft 365 subscribers, you will also see a Design Ideas pane from the PowerPoint Designer service that shows design ideas for the current slide in a pane at the right side of this view. You can click a design idea in the PowerPoint Designer pane to apply it to the current slide. After you create multiple slides, then a vertical scroll bar appears at the far right side of the presentation. You may also see a horizontal scroll bar at the bottom of a presentation if it is very wide or if you zoom in on the current slide. You can use the vertical scroll bar to scroll up and down through the presentation slides. You can use the horizontal scroll bar, if shown, to scroll left and right across a presentation slide. You can easily zoom in to increase the slide magnification or zoom out to decrease the slide magnification using the zoom slider within the status bar in the lower right corner of the window. If your mouse has a scroll wheel, you can also press and hold the control key on your keyboard and scroll up with this scroll wheel to zoom in, 
or scroll down to zoom out. The various presentation view buttons appear to the left of the zoom slider in the status bar. These buttons let you switch the presentation view as needed. Now that we have an overview of the major on-screen elements, where they appear by default and what they are called, we can now look at the general use and functionality of the various on-screen elements within the PowerPoint application. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.